Hey there, Fighting Knights fans. My name is Olivia Cairo, and welcome to this week's edition of the Nightly Review. It was a weekend full of rivalry at Lynn University as the Fighting Knights took on Barry in men's and women's tennis, baseball, and softball. But before we get started on that, let's jump into women's golf. The top ranked Fighting Knights won the Bash of the Beach Invitational for the second consecutive year this past weekend. The team set program records for 18 and 36 hole scoring and route to a 27 stroke victory. All five starters placed in the top six for the first time in school history. They also broke the record for top 10 finishes in a season with 33, while Jessica Bradley broke the record for individual finishes for finishing in the top 10 for the 10th consecutive tournament. And Samantha Smolin became the school's all-time leader in career top 10 finishes. Next on the schedule is the Sunshine State Conference Championships, April 12th through 15th at Lake Javita Golf and Country Club. Joining the women's golf team at Lake Javita this coming weekend is our number two ranked men's golf team. They've had a week's rest since placing fourth at the Argonaut Invitational hosted by West Florida in Pensacola, Florida. And they are looking forward to taking on some tough Sunshine State Conference competition at the tournament. Softball won its first Sunshine State Conference series of the season over Barry this past weekend. The Fighting Knights dropped Friday night's opener 6-5 in extra innings when the Bucks walked off in the bottom of the ninth. Lynn came back fighting on Saturday and took both games with a doubleheader, winning the first 6 to nothing, and then the second game 5-3. to three. Lynn will travel to Palm Beach Atlantic to finish a game from March 19th that was postponed before beginning a regular scheduled non-conference doubleheader. The blue and white will then hit the road for a SSC series against St. Leo this weekend. Number 5 women's tennis lost to top-ranked Barry this past weekend when the Fighting Knights dropped 7-2 to the Bucks. This was the final match of the regular season and it also determined the first ever Sunshine State Conference regular season champion. Number 1 Valentine Confalonieri improved her win streak to 27 and her career record to 39-2 with a win over number 8 Emma O'Neill. Number 12 Iwana Ivan extended her win streak to 31 with her win over number 43 Linda Fritschkin, a streak that began March 20th, 2013. Lynn's eighth-ranked men's tennis team dropped to number two Barry 7-2 on Sunday morning in a match that determined the Sunshine State Conference regular season champion. Both of our tennis teams will travel to Winter Park, Florida for the Sunshine State Conference tournament April 24th to 26th, hosted by Rollins. Our first year lacrosse team hosted the first ever night game at Bobby Campbell Stadium this past week. Unfortunately, the Fighting Knights lost 19-1 to the 14th ranked Florida Southern Moccasins, but Tyler Janvrin scored the first goal under the lights for Lynn University. Lynn then hit the road for its final away game of the regular season versus Florida Tech. Danny Egan scored all five of Lynn's goals in the 19-5 loss, while Taylor Frino made a career-high 22 saves. The Fighting Knights host the regular game of its Ignore Girl season on Saturday, April 12th at 7 p.m. against Tampa. Lynn will honor its two seniors, Joey Baccarella and William Port, before the game. Number 5 Baseball beat Barry in a conference series this past weekend. They took the first game 7-1 when Jed Vandernell became the co-wins leader in the Sunshine State Conference. Tom Kane hit a three-run home run, while Albert LaFran hit a solo home run. In Saturday's first game, Bobby Cruz earned his third win of the season in a 9-4 win over the Bucks. Mike Gonzalez went 4-4 four four at the plate with three runs batted in, while Alex DeBellis went 3-5 with an RBI and two runs scored. Lynn dropped the final game 7-4, but the series victory marks the first time in program history that the baseball team has opened the season with five consecutive Sunshine State Conference Series wins. Lynn hosted Florida Memorial on Tuesday afternoon. After five rain delays and ten pitching changes, the Fighting Knights were able to defeat the Lions 10-9. Donovan Chrisman led off the bottom of the eighth with a single up the middle and moved to third on a double off the right field wall by Tom Kane. Two batters later, Corey Gibson would bring Chrisman home for the eventual game-winning run on a single to center field. A.J. Folletta improved to 5-0 this season on the mound, while Alex DeBellis and Michael Stemley combined for six runs batted in. The Fighting Knights travel to Nova Southeastern this weekend and a three-game Sunshine State Conference series set against the 21st-ranked Sharks. Fans, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to log on to LynnFightingKnights.com to check the latest scores, statistics, and news about your Fighting Knights. Until then, I'm Olivia Coiro. Go Knights!